Welcome to our video series on enterprise tools and resources. I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today we're going to take a deep dive into a crucial part of managing physical assets in any company, asset tags and tracking. You'll learn what they are, how they're used, and why they're absolutely essential for efficient operations and maintenance. We'll also delve into how they can save your company money and boost outcomes by informing decisions across departments. Let's get started. First, let's talk about asset tags. What are they? Well, an asset tag is an identification label that's attached to a company's physical equipment or property. This can be anything from permanent and immovable assets such as buildings, bolted down machinery, and lighting systems to assets that can be moved around a facility like computer systems, furniture, or even off-site assets such as vehicles, handheld tools, and repair kits. So, why do companies use asset tags? The main reason is to identify what they own, which corresponds to how much money they've invested in physical property. Asset tags can help when items need maintenance or repair as they indicate the location of the asset in question and provide detailed information that can assist technicians in completing the necessary work. Here's a scenario. A facility tags a critical piece of equipment upon purchase. Data like the purchase price, payment terms, operations manual, and recommended maintenance schedule are entered into a computerized maintenance management system software. The accounting team works with the depreciation and other financial aspects of this asset, while the maintenance manager must create a preventive maintenance schedule based on the suggested timetable. Asset tags are incredibly helpful. They make data easily accessible, and they help inform decisions across departments to boost outcomes. They're also great for keeping track of movable items locations. For instance, a maintenance team may share a variety of repair kits when called for off-site services. When a technician leaves to complete a work order, that individual scans the asset tag on the repair kit that they're taking with them. Managers then have information on which technician has which kit and where they are working. If an emergency service request arrives, it's easy to see who might be able to respond and whether they have the correct equipment. The benefits of using asset tags are numerous. They help companies identify, categorize, and locate assets and prevent theft. They also facilitate more efficient inventory management. With thorough asset tags, businesses can quickly locate the materials needed to produce or repair their products. Asset tagging also provides invaluable information during audits and assists a company in the event of filing an insurance claim or determining their replacement asset value. Now that we've covered asset tags, let's move on to asset tracking. This is the method businesses use to keep tabs on their critical equipment and inventory. This might include labeling technology and hardware using asset tags or barcodes. These tools work together to monitor equipment, their software, and pertinent company-specific processes. The end goal for asset tracking is to set organizations up for success in delivering their products and services to their customers. The two main use cases for asset tracking are critical equipment and materials inventory. Critical assets must be tracked to know where they are located. Then, the asset tracking system associates the equipment with technicians that have or are working it. The technicians and administrators can monitor what kind of preventive maintenance or repairs the equipment may need. Similarly, inventory must be tracked from the moment it arrives at a facility so items can be found and used in particular products or processes. Asset tracking applies to inventory throughout its life within a warehouse or on a production floor. Tracking ends when the inventory is either consumed or turned into a finished product. So, what are the key components of an effective asset tracking system? First, there's the labeling technology. Businesses must have a way to identify assets and share work order information in a computerized system for it to be useful. Common systems for labeling are manual numbering or naming a barcoding system or an advanced RFID tagging system. Second, there's the computerized system. A centralized computerized system, such as a computerized maintenance management system, collects, stores, and organizes high-quality data. This grants transparency to everyone from the maintenance technician to the director, allowing better and smarter decisions to be made on a day-to-day -day basis. Lastly, there are mobile tools. According to Supply Chain Management Review, the final frontier for asset tracking is in the far-flung remote areas. More powerful technology that can send signals farther, as well as mobile devices, will help improve asset tracking 
for equipment located off-site. The benefits of quality asset tracking are numerous. Companies can expect to increase efficiency, cut costs, improve maintenance, and reduce resources. Businesses may be able to reduce duplicate purchases due to lost items, grow and scale more easily, and establish more efficient processes to meet regulatory requirements. Thank you for watching this video. We've covered the importance of asset tags and tracking, how they can boost your company's efficiency and save money. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For more information, visit our website at upkeep.com. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.